Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith and in this video I've got an exciting unboxing to do. It's both of the new editions of the ESV Heirloom Thinline Bible, the Goatskin Edition and the Horween Leather Edition. I'm gonna take the box as always, three, two, one. Ooh, that's nice. Really nice, tight, pebbly grain. This is nice and soft and floppy. Wow, I'm not sure if I love that on a Bible. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This. All right, it's time to unbox some new ESV Premium Bibles from Crossway. This time it's the Heirloom Collection Thin Line Editions. I'm a big Thin Line Bible fan. I absolutely love that style. It's a, obviously a thin Bible, still easy to read, really beautiful. I've actually reviewed the ESV Thin Line, which is in this box, in the Buffalo Leather on my channel before. But these are the new Premium Editions in both Goatskin and Horween leather. I know a lot of people are excited about this Bible to be here, so I'm going to do an unboxing and then I'm going to do some comparisons between this and some other Bibles in a different video. Are you ready? I've got my V cam right here. What's up? Let's dive in. All right. I decided to go ahead and order both of these so that you could see both of your options. Last year when they came out with these Horween leather ones, I had trouble getting my hands on one, so I did a pre-order on these and ordered up both of them. All right, we've got this open. Pulling the paper out, and there you see the little black box in there. So this says Thin Line Edition Horween. Glad that showed up. Crossway's giving me some Christmas resources. That's nice. And then this is the Goatskin Black Edition as well. Okay, I'm gonna take the box as always. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, so you have very, very similar look on the outside. The Crossway Black two-piece box. One of them says Horween Brown Leather on the bottom. That one down there, you see it? Horween brown leather. And then this one says goatskin on the bottom down there. So the basic specs of the ESV Heirloom Bible are gonna be created with the highest quality materials. The Heirloom Bible Thin Line Edition is an elegant Bible printed and bound with superior craftsmanship at Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands. As with Crossway's other Heirloom Bibles, this edition is printed on high quality European Bible paper has elegant art gilding, two ribbon markers with proportions, margins, and type designed for a lifetime of reading. Okay, which one do you want to start with? Let's start with the goatskin edition. We kind of know that one's going to be pretty beautiful. Oh, I love this. They give you the pledge card on the inside. It's kind of like letter pressed in there. That's a very, very nice touch. And then you get this like very, very soft kind of velour velvety shroud that goes around the Bible. Ooh, that's nice. Really nice, tight, pebbly grain. Look at that. You see that? Yeah, that's a really nice, oh, this is such a great size. The art gilding looks fantastic on this. There you go. You get a perimeter stitch around the outside. Can you see that? Raised spine hubs. One, two, three, four raised spine hubs. Holy Bible, ESV, Crossway, and then the Crossway logo, or sorry, English Standard Version and the Crossway logo. This is nice and soft and floppy. Wow. That is gorgeous. It does have a gilt line around the inside, and these feel like more like synthetic leather in sheets and liners, but it says goat skin on the back inside there. Very, very nice. Let's see what they did with the ribbons. Crossway, come on, y'all. Give us better ribbons than this. This is silly. You got two skinny black ribbons. I actually like the black two skinny black ribbons better than the multicolored four ribbons that they give you on some of the other Bibles, but I, I really don't understand these thin, dinky little ribbons. Like, this is just, they, they, they did editions of this Bible with uh, evangelicalbible.com with some of their colorful leather choices, and they just made nicer, thicker ribbons on theirs, even with the thin Bible, but... And then here's the, what I like about the thin line. Super clean and simple. Two column text, you don't get cross references and things like that. There's some textual footnotes at the bottom of the page, but it's just really easy to read. It's still very comfortable. The paper on this is fantastic. This is really, really nice. It's more of a poetic setting and it looks a little bit more scattered in the poetic setting here. Um, not my favorite, but it's got that line by line breakup. It, there's a little bit more ghosting on the page in a setting like that because the lines aren't right on top of each other like everywhere else in the paragraph format. But it's just a classic, simple, straightforward, nice Bible. And the Heirloom Collection, you can feel the quality in this. This is just really, really nice quality. See how this just kind of wraps up like that? Like it's a very, very soft, floppy edition of the Bible. So again, 
if you really like thin line Bibles and you want a really great and you love the ESV, you don't have a lot of options out there, but this one is going to be next, next level. This is beautifully designed. What I need to do is do a comparison video with this and the Omega. The Omega has a lot of similarities to this, but it's a little bit bigger, larger print. But that looks really, really nice. Like, just... Hi. Okay, let's see what the Horween leather looks like. It's such a unique product. If you're not familiar with Horween, it's a, a different type of leather. It's a, a cowhide, basically, that... It's going to wear in and patina and age over time. You know, Bo Tate was doing some videos about Horween leather on his channel and kind of wearing it in. I haven't caught up with those recently. I know I saw a couple of them. I'm not sure if he's done more, but to kind of show what this leather does over time, that's very, it's just so different. That's absolutely beautiful. Now, you can see this right here. You, whoa, you see that? There's like a line in this one. You see that there's like a, a big line right there. It's a, that's interesting. I wonder if that's on the back. No, it's just on the one side. It's almost like it got pressed down a little bit weird. You can see here, it's a smooth, smoother, much smoother leather, but then it gets these easily gets these little nicks and things like that in it. So the, 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 the idea behind the, the Horween that you have to know is if you get it, it's going to get the oils of your hands. It's going to get scuffed up a little bit. It's more susceptible to that. So this Bible is going to wear in over time. It's going to look, um, it's going to look a little bit more worn than a goatskin would. The goatskin is going to, it just, it kind of can take a beating a little bit more. Um, like I have a, a wallet that's made out of Horween leather. Obviously that goes in and out of my pocket all the time, but it's got all these bumps and bruises and scrapes, which looks cool for a wallet. I'm not sure if I love that on a Bible, but this is very, very beautiful. It's a very, very deep, deep, deep brown color. It's also got the raised spine humps. The stamping is going to be blind stamped compared to the goat skin that has the gold on there. So it's a little bit more subtle on the spine. You still get the perimeter stitch in there. On the inside, you don't get the gold line, the gold gilt line, or the stamping on the back. So it's just pretty nice and open and brown. But then the, the gilding is the same looks good, and then the text block itself is the same. This looks like it has a bigger uh, yap. Do you see how when I open that up, there's like a, almost an inch of leather on the outside there, whereas this one doesn't have quite that much. It looks to me like the, they both open pretty flat. Can you see, let's see if I can, I gotta pull this back. They open bo both them pretty flat. I prefer the goat skin. I, I just, first impressions, like I, I think the Horween idea is cool. I prefer the goat skin. I, I just think that this, for me, I'd be worried about this one too much, getting beat up and bruised and things like that. And if that's your thing, if you wanna have a Bible that really shows wear, that you like that look, then this could totally be for you. But for me, the the goat skin one is just a, a much better, a much better kind of, it feels really nice. It's, it's got a little bit softer and floppier. This one is, it's not gonna roll up as much. It's a little bit firm. I'm sure it will wear in over time, but this one just like all of this, it's super soft and floppy. And I love like the texture of the goat skin, the look of the goat skin a little bit more. This is so unique, but it's just, it's my preference would be one over the other. I mean, even see, I just opened this out of the box and there's little like little marks in the leather. There's that, that kind of odd stripe on it in there. There's a few different things about this that are just like, it's gonna, even right here, like, it's got some like glue on it. I don't know if you can see that. There's like little sp spattering of glue or something. Maybe this one just didn't go through the, the, the quality control as well as the other ones. But um, you can see it's got a little bit extra yap because if I, it's just a little bit taller there. Yeah. Man, beautiful Bibles. The the Horween is such an interesting thing to me. Like I just I, I I when they came out with it last year, I saw people posting pictures of it. I was like, hmm, I got to see one briefly, but for me, I just think the goat skin is probably a better fit. I know that's personal preference, but did they do the same thing with the ribbons? Yes, they gave you brown ribbons on this. So you get skinny black ribbons on the goat skin black edition. You get skinny brown ribbons on the uh, on the Horween edition. Um, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This is awesome. This is great. I think this one's a lot more expensive too, which is another reason. I just, I wouldn't pay the difference in the price. But anyway, sometimes you guys ask me to be a little bit more critical. I'm being critical of the Horween leather, which I know a lot of people really geek out about. But, but for me, I just think the goat skin really shines and the Horween is just like, it's, it's just a little bit too particular for me to be totally, totally, totally 
excited about it and excited about paying even more money for it. So anyway, um, if you have thoughts or questions, please drop those in the comments. I will put some links to where you can see these on Crossway's website as well as Amazon, Christian Books, sort, that sort of thing like that. If you have Horween, if you want to defend Horween, drop those comments. Let me know what you love about it if you're really into the Horween leather. Please feel free to disagree with me. Um, as always, I'm going to post some photos of these Bibles on Instagram and Facebook, so check me out on social media. And if you haven't already, click that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot of great unboxing videos like this here on YouTube. Lots of fun Bible-related content that I would love for you to check out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. <music>